Hello and welcome to this edition of Pirate News. I'm Robert Ruskowski. And I'm Ryan Clayton. In today's broadcast, we'll discuss campus events, Seton Hall sports, and your five-day weather forecast. All undergraduate students are eligible to vote for the Student Government Association Executive Board and the at-large senators via email. There are four positions on the SGA Executive Board and seven for at-large senators. Students will be able to access and submit your electronic ballot until today at 3 p.m., so make sure you get your votes in before it's too late. If you have any questions or complaints about your ballot, please submit a request to sga at shu.edu by 5 p.m. today. From noon to 5 p.m. in Bethany Hall, Seton Hall will be holding the Sports, Business, and Media Ethics Symposium as they host leaders in the industry to discuss some of the biggest issues, including gambling and amateurism. The speakers will include current NBA Commissioner Adam Silver alongside Seton Hall alumni Bob Lee, who is best known for his work on ESPN's Outside the Lines. The event is currently full, but if you have any questions about future events, contact Tanya Dixon at tanya.dixon2 at shu.edu. The ninth annual Pirates Pitch Startup Competition will take place tomorrow, Wednesday, April 3rd, in the Jubilee Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m., followed by a reception afterwards. The team of student entrepreneurs will present their business ideas to a panel of judges for a chance at $16,000 in funding for their ventures. All are invited to attend, so make sure to bring your friends and vote for the $500 Audience Choice Award. Starting today, April 2nd, and going until May 10th, you can check out the 15th Annual Undergraduate Student Art Exhibit in the Walsh Gallery. The opening reception will be held this Friday, April 5th at 5 p.m., which all are welcome to attend. For more information, contact Danielle Clements at danielle.clements at shoe.edu with any questions or concerns. And now we will take it over to Christian Castillo with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Christian? Hello, Pirate fans. Christian Castillo here with your Seton Hall Sports Update. The tennis team came out with a 6-1 victory over Sacred Heart Sunday on senior night. The Pirates took an advantage with 6-2 wins at the number two and number three doubles behind senior Tandy Kenwa and junior Mingja Gligic and the pair of juniors Michaela Erspalmer and Melody Taw. In singles play, senior Anika Faye Norova scored a 6-1 and 62 victory, paving the path to Pirates' victory. The tennis team is back in action this weekend as they travel to Chicago to take on DePaul on April 6th. The men's baseball team won their game set versus Iona this past weekend. After dropping the first game on Friday, 0-5, the Pirates pitched their way to a 7-0 victory Saturday. Five pitchers combined for a no-hitter, the third in Pirates history. Noah Thompson started the game with Tyler Berman, Nick Payero, Hunter Waldis, and Sean Miller following suit. Combined, the five pitchers struck out 14, while Casey Dano went 3-4 for four with a walk and four RBIs. In the rubber match of the series, Seton Hall outslugged Iona with a dominating 14-3 victory. The onslaught was led by Tyler Shelder McAvoy, who had five RBIs. The Pirates had a 5-2 lead going into the fifth, where they blew the game open. open. In the top of the inning, the Pirates sent 11 men to the plates, scoring six runs on seven hits. In the inner, Shelder McAvoy had a two RBI single with Alex Clyde driving in two with a double. The Pirates recorded 17 hits with Christian Del Castillo leading the team with three and finishing a home run shy of the cycle. The Pirates are now 10 and 13 on the season and face Fairleigh Dickinson today, who they beat eight to one last week. That'll do it for your Seton Hall Sports Update. I'm Christian Castillo, now back to Rob and Ryan with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Christian. Seton Hall will once again be having two open house events for potential undergraduate students in the month of April. First, Pirate Preview will be held on this Saturday, April 6th, for all accepted students who are still deciding whether or not to enroll for the next academic year. After that, Seton Hall will host a larger open house on the main campus on Sunday, April 14th, for all prospective students. On either of these days, attendees will have the chance to meet faculty, speak with students, tour campus, and learn more information about various clubs and organizations. To register for either of these events, please visit the Seton Hall website. The College of Education and Human Services will be hosting a speaker series titled Revolutionizing Education. The event is this Tuesday, April 2nd at 5 p.m. in the Jubilee Hall Auditorium and features speaker Christian Edmond, who will discuss the relation between race and education. If you're interested in registering, make sure to head to events.shu.edu. And now we'll head over to Jillian Yarzenbowitz with your five-day weather forecast. Jillian? Thanks, Rob. I'm Jillian Yarzenbowitz here with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. 
Expect to see cloudy skies today with a high of 51 and a low of 39. Tomorrow, the sun will return with a high of 64 and a low of 42. Thursday will cool down with cloudy skies and a high of 57 and a low of 41. But break out those umbrellas for Friday because we can expect to see rain with a high of 49 and a low of 47. However, the sun will return Saturday, giving students a sunny spring weekend with a high of 63 and a low of 48. That's all for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Jillian yarsen -Bowitz. Now back to Rob and Ryan with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Jillian. The 5th Annual Corks and Folks event will take place next Thursday, April 11th at 6.30 p.m. at the Echo Lake Country Club in Westfield, New Jersey. Join Julie Willard and Maria Bazella along with the Pirate Blue Athletic Fund in an evening of food and wine tasting to benefit Scene Hall Athletics. There will also be raffles, door prizes, and more, so make sure to register online at shu.edu slash corksforks or contact Ariel St. Paul at ariel.stpaul at shu.edu for more information. If you're interested in the field of philosophy, come out to the nursing building, room 113, today from 5.30 p.m. for a philosophy lecture on disagreeing with ex experts. The event will be hosted by, doc by Dr. Brian Francis of the University of Tartu, as he will address the question of how you should react when you learn the experts disagree. The event is hosted by the Philosophy Club, so be sure to reach out to Travis Timmerman at travis.timmerman at shoe.edu with any questions. Well, that'll do it for today's episode of Power News. I'm Robert Oskowski. And I'm Ryan Clayton. Thanks for watching and have a great day.